Hello there, before watching this video, you need to first watch my video about Lent, okay? So, for you to get the, all the basics about conversion, because conversion uh, will lead you or will basically give you the idea on how to convert from one unit to another. And I explained everything with Lent, so you have to watch that first, okay? If you have not watched that first, please watch it muna. Kasi uh, what I'm gonna explain here is how to convert regarding uh, mass na muna. Mass. Okay? So I'm not going to talk about Lent anymore. Nandun na yun eh. And all the idea of conversion is found there sa Lent. So please watch that first. Okay, mass. What do you mean by mass? Uh, basically, in, in general, just to give you the idea, it refers to how, how heavy something is. Okay. This is in basic language, okay? Not the official um ano pa to? Not the official uh definition of the term mass. But basically in 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 terms of science it refers to the amount of uh, particles that you are composed of in terms of solid, liquid and gas. Okay? Pero in in this case in term, in terms of measurement it refers to how heavy something is. Okay? Pero sa akin nga there's a conflict between mass and uh, basically iba kasi eh. Iba yung iba yung nire-refer nila sa mass. So anyway, the units for mass, no mga units na ginagamit natin dito is basically just kilograms and grams. Meron pa yan mga <laughs> mas maliit pero we are only going to talk about kilograms and grams. Okay. Like in length, these kilograms and grams can be equivalent as well. And that's for conversion, converting purposes. For every one kilogram, it's equivalent to 1,000 grams. So parang the same as one kilometer and one meter. It's just that, I mean, one kilometer and 1,000 meters. It's just that yung meters kasi ginagamit sa length. While sa kilograms naman refers to how heavy something is. Okay. So, it means that for every two kilograms, it is equivalent to 2,000 grams. Kung may 7,000 kilograms, so that's equivalent to 7,000 grams. Doing the opposite, the other way around, we can also say that if there is 3,000 grams, it's equivalent to 3 kilograms. And if there's, let's say, 5,000 grams, that's equivalent to 5 kilograms. So doing the opposite lang, no? And again, if you notice, we are just basically copying the first unit and moving three decimal places three place values na naman ang ginagalaw natin dito just like the kilometers and meters and the other way around meters two kilometers so the same lang once you already know the logic that's why i'm asking you to watch that video first yung length so that this will be easier for you to understand okay regarding this part naman dito so kunwari lang sa book ninyo the same lang naman yung given Converting, let's say we have 3 kilograms and 270 grams. Converting it first to grams, then add it to another gram. And finalizing the final unit to a total of grams lang. So then again, 270 grams is already there. So you just, re you just write 270 grams there. And for your 3 kilograms, convert it grams so like what we did earlier three kilograms is equivalent to three thousand grams so for your final unit all you need to do is just to write three thousand two hundred seventy grams again this is what you call conversion okay another example just to clear everyone 6 kilograms and let's say 1 gram lang. So breaking it down again, we have blank grams and blank grams. 
So, total of total grams na meron tayo. So, meron tayong 1 gram lang dito. Just add it there. And for 6 kilograms, converting 6 kilograms to grams, you already know that. So, it should this should be equivalent to 6,000 grams. So, putting both together, that's equivalent to 6,001 grams. Okay? So, ganyan lang. And doing the opposite, expected na yan sa next page natin. Doing the opposite, converting grams. Let's say 7,245 grams. Converting it muna, isa-separate natin muna by gram. And later on, finalizing it by kilograms and grams. So, if you observe, conversion unit natin comes in thousands, di ba? So, thousands tayo. So, since thousands, again, we are separating 7,245 by thousand. So, this becomes 7,000 and this becomes 245. So, we now have the unit of 7,000 here and 245 here. Okay? Kasi ni breakdown natin like what we did earlier yung sa length. Okay? So, 7,000 grams to kilograms. Knowing that for every 1,000 grams is equivalent to 1 kilograms. So, in this case, we have 7,000 grams. So, it's equivalent to 7 kilograms. And, rewrite lang natin yung grams natin. Okay? So, that's how you basically deal with uh, conversion now when it comes to uh, mass. Okay? So, ganun lang. So, that's basically it for today muna.